Hello and welcome, this is a short video just explaining how to download a configuration file into a DDC420 controller. I have a physical connection to my laptop using just a, just a patch lead which is connected to my laptop. I have configured my laptop to be on a unique ID uh, of 192.168.1.100 and the controller IP address we can check by pressing the info button and dropping down to the network configuration and it tells me the controller IP address. I can take this IP address once my laptop is configured on 192.168.01 range with a unique unique number at the end of in my case 100 I can now go to my web browser in this case I'm using Firefox but I could use any of the more commonly available ones type in the IP address of the controller 192 dot one six eight dot one dot ninety nine and hit enter and I'm presented with the web browser connection of the DDC 420. To load a configuration file I must load access the controller at level three. So using the keyboard I can choose level three and I can enter the user code which is two four six zero. I touched the wrong button there. Two four six zero and then hit the login button. When I access the controller, I'm presented with the menus down the menu tree on the left hand side and the menu I'm interested in is data backup. I choose data backup and then my option is to select which file I want to load into the controller or I can create a new backup of the program that's already inside the controller. I'm going to install a fresh file and I'm going to browse my laptop to find the data file that I want to put into the controller. This could be emailed to you from your engineer or shared amongst your project staff. Um, in this case, I've taken it from an email and I've saved it onto my desktop. So I'm going to browse my desktop for the file name. The file name is not important. It's only the file extension that we're interested in and it will, it will end with D4PML. So this file is the one I'm going to select. I'm going to open it up. That will then load it into the controller and I select import data backup to load that into the controller. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds for the controller to reconfigure. After the download is complete, the controller will begin to process the new configuration file. After that's completed, it's always advisable to power down the controller and restart. This way you can be sure that the controller is running with the information correctly and it's organised itself, ready to, ready to start effective control and ongoing commissioning of the system. Thank you very much.